Hello, everyone. Well, I'm going to answer a question from someone who asked me about the shape of the Earth, whether it is spherical, pear-shaped, or flat like a plate. Okay, let's go. Pear-shaped it is not. Only a fool would believe Earth's shape is like a pear. There's a reason why some researchers did say Earth is pear-shaped. It's because of the distances in the Southern Hemisphere, all that. But I'll try, but I'll try to answer those who think Earth is pear-shaped. But it's not pear-shaped. I'm sorry about the astrophysicist disgrace Tyson, but no. He can be an astrophysicist, but he is not a geophysicist. So no, Earth is not pear-shaped. So let's now move on to the two real options, a globe or plate-shaped. When I first heard about the flat Earth model, I heard it from a person I hold in high regard, and it was more or less like this. I became extremely nervous, extremely irritated. I'm not the type of guy who gets irritated easily, but when someone asked me about the flat Earth model, and he insisted on this subject, I got so mad I started screaming at him. The reason why I became so irritated is that the person who was asking me this question works in my area of study, which is geophysics, and he was supposed to know the answer for this question. So this person told me I was a closed-minded person, and my response to him was that he was into conspiracy theories. Then this person asked me one thing. He asked me to go to this YouTube channel and watch a couple of videos to try to debunk them. So I went ahead and watched the first video and told him I could easily explain that video. I watched another video and told him I could technically explain it. I watched the third video and it was getting hard to explain. I watched the fourth video and said to myself, it's getting too difficult to answer these questions. I watched a fifth video and video after video, I started to get extremely nervous. I got so nervous and I started to ask myself, why was I getting so nervous about this subject? And I am not the kind of person who gets nervous about this subject because I always knew Earth was a globe. Then I asked myself, who taught me Earth to be a globe? Who taught me this was the correct shape of the Earth? Was it my elementary school teacher? My high school teacher? Wait a minute, we have to discuss this subject. After a whole month, the person who first asked me about the flat Earth asked me again if I had been able to elaborate and debunk the videos I had watched. I was still nervous about this subject and told him I was still analyzing the videos. As the time went by, I started taking this matter more and more seriously because this was bothering me a lot. The more I looked into it, the more I thought it all made sense. I did not have this subject discussed in classrooms during my college years. I know many of you who are watching this video now might be saying that this is the most stupid question on earth, but... If this is a stupid question, why is it so hard to answer it? I watched some globe-believing people answering some of the questions, but I have to say as a geophysicist that these globe-believing answers are completely wrong and to a certain point, ridiculous. Some mathematicians want to answer questions about geophysics, and they have no idea what they are talking about. On this Flat Earth YouTube channel a little while ago, he presented some evidences quite interesting where he got to film an island 30 kilometers or 20 miles. A very small, very tiny island. And then this mathematician told the videographer he had to use an equipment to measure the air pressure. I am a geophysicist, and I know this equipment is not used for this kind of experiment. I also know that there are many factors that will show errors when measuring air pressure. Even if a cloud goes by, it can interfere in the experiment. We could use a high-precision GPS equipment called RTK. This is an expensive equipment, and in the whole country of Brazil, there must be only 100 of them. Even the university where I worked, the University of Sao Paulo, doesn't have one. Perhaps the Cartography Institute of Brazil has one. Then I decided to get in touch with the videographer. One of these 100 equipments existent in Brazil is mine. So we are going to do this experiment again using this RTK equipment I have, and let's see the result. Now answering the question about the shape of the Earth, I, as a scientist, can't talk about the shape of the Earth at this moment because I'm still studying it. Sorry guys, I can't say it as a scientist because I'm still studying it, and this is a very complicated subject. But I can tell you about my personal feelings about this subject. The original question by this guy was about my feelings about this subject. So, I'm sorry everyone, but I am a flat earther. I am 100% a flat earther.
The Earth is flat. I am still studying it. I need to answer questions, and there will be plenty of difficult questions I will have to answer. Not just me, but other geophysicists need to be able to answer these questions, but I'm declaring it to you right now. I might be the first geophysicist to declare the Earth is flat. I have no doubts about that. Here is the map of the flat Earth. If someone wants to know more about this map, if someone wants to know more about the flat Earth, he or she will have to study hard. We don't have many sources out there. We will probably need to start from scratch. We have very little literature about it. We don't know everything. We need to study, and every day we will learn something new. This model makes sense. The navigators of the past used an instrument called the astrolabe. The astrolabe was created to work on a flat Earth model, and it always worked. Yes. I know this is considered to be ancient knowledge, I know it might not seem to be very scientific, but seriously, I have been in the position to denounce Flat Earth. I screamed against it. I got very nervous about it. But if you have a bit of patience to study about it, watch the very old videos about this subject. Not so much the new ones, but the old ones before the censorship. Learn about the astrolabe. You're going to find a lot of inconsistencies in the globe model. For example, the Antarctic Treaty. You have all these countries getting together and deciding nobody is allowed to go to Antarctica to explore it. If I go to Antarctica, if I even get to reach Antarctica, all my fellow Brazilians may suffer the consequences for my actions. So I find it to be very strange. Why is it that we can go close to the North Pole where there is more wildlife? Anyone can get close to it. But the South, where there are only penguins, why can't anyone cross it independently? Seriously, they spent billions of dollars digging CERN. Why don't we have different stations crossing Antarctica? Why not? These are the kind of questions that make you uncomfortable. It's possible that I might change my opinion, but my opinion today is that the Earth is flat. The person who is saying this to you now is not an average person. I am a geophysicist. I taught classes at the University of Sao Paulo. If I were able to teach there, it is, because I was selected the best, among the best in the area. Many people were not able to do so. I have a PhD. I went straight from my master's program to my PhD. I was not just a good student, I was the best of all students. The program I was enrolled in lasts on average five to six years. I was the first to conclude the program in four years. I was an excellent student. And after me, only two other students were able to conclude the program in four years. One of them is my brother. Yes, I am a geophysicist. I know everything about this area. If this is going to bother someone, I am sorry. There's nothing I can do. This is how I feel, and I have the right to express myself. As a scientist, I am evaluating the subject as of my own feelings. I am not trying to convince anyone. It is just for myself. After watching several videos and watching the globe earthers trying to debunk those videos, I am sorry to say, but these globe believers are not in the position to debunk this. I can see you are not geologists, geophysicists. You guys don't know what you are talking about. But this is it for today. In my area of work, because I am also a seismologist, I use a flat earth projection. This is not a childish talk. This discussion about the flat earth was once published in a seismology publication in a different format, asking the question up to what point is the earth considered flat in order to gather seismologic data. And this was published some 16 years ago. In my area of work, there have always been people questioning up to what point can we consider Earth to be flat in order to accommodate the situation to the globe standards. But since this was a direct question which has put me in between a rock and a hard place, in my personal interpretation, not as a scientist since I am still studying it, the Earth is flat. Sorry for those who might become mad about this, but the Earth is flat. Yeah, that's it.